Terra Luna Classic, can this crypto ever hit $1 in the future? If you think it's possible, hit the thumbs up button on this video. What I want to talk to you guys about in today's video is I want to do an update on Terra Luna Classic and then I also want to talk about Binance. So we've had some big Binance updates and I want to talk to you guys about them. What does it mean for Terra Luna Classic? That's exactly what we're going to discuss in this video. So if that sounds good, hit the thumbs up button and let's get into this video. So guys, right now, how is the crypto market going? And you guys can see most of the crypto is actually in the red. We've got ApeCoin up a little bit today, Terra Luna Classic down slightly. And if we do take a look at our Bitcoin, so Bitcoin's actually looking quite strong on the crypto charts right here. And where is Terra Luna Classic trading right now? So we're sitting at number 29. So I don't know why a lot of people out there, I'm seeing people panic with uh, Terra Luna Classic. Guys, just relax. I'm staying the course with uh, Terra Luna Classic. And as I always say, you know, it's easier to stay the course in cryptocurrency when you are well diversified. So I diversify into different cryptos and uh, I do have a holding in Terra Luna Classic, but I'm staying the course with this and I'm not too stressed about, you know, a three or 4% price decrease with this cryptocurrency. And again, if we zoom out on the charts right here, guys, we look at the three month chart for Terra Luna Classic. Guys, looking good. One month chart, looking good. Seven day chart, looking pretty strong. And uh, even the one day chart, we had a bit of a drop off, but again, I'm not too worried about this. And if we do take a look at some of the critical volumes for Terra Luna Classic. How are we going? So we're still in the multiple hundreds of millions for this cryptocurrency. So guys, this is looking good as well. So nearly half a billion dollars of uh, volume on Binance. But you guys know, I think we've got up to like $2 billion worth of volume on Binance and uh, things are looking good. And just as a reminder, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure to uh, check out the links in the description of this video. So we have MEXC. So we know MEXC is doing a crypto burn. You guys can get some bonuses on uh, MEXC. Use that link or you can use Binance or Phoenix or Q coin any of those ones right there and i appreciate that but guys let's talk about some big updates for terra luna classic and then we're also going to check out the price at the end of the video so what i've seen right now is mexi is really making the most of the luna classic uh cryptocurrency the crypto community and you guys can see right here they're doing a twitter giveaway i think on september the 13th so if you guys want to get some free crypto make sure to have a twitter account and you can join up in you can join up to their twitter space and uh they have 10 people getting 20 thousand Luna Classic for free and uh, it looks like they're going to have guests of uh, Vegas and uh, also Edward Kim as well so that sounds pretty exciting right there and I have to say Mexi smart crypto exchange making the smart moves in the crypto space and what are they doing they're giving the people what they want so Terra Luna Classic community we want a 1.2 percent burn Mexi was the first mover in this situation simply what are they doing they're giving the customers exactly what they want so other crypto exchanges out there you're going to see them talk about 0% fees. Guys, we don't want a 0% fee. We want a 1.2% fee on uh, the spot volume of uh, these crypto exchanges. That's exactly what we want right now. That is an interesting update from uh, Mexi right there. But guys, let's talk about the big one. Let's talk about the Binance question. Okay, so it says here, Binance may review its decision to implement Terra Luna Classic burns on trading. So this is a really big one. So right now, what do we have? We have that announcement out of Binance. They have said in the past, uh, you know, they were silent on the question about the spot volume of the burn. So you guys know the most important thing that, you know, if you want an imminent short term price, price catalyst for Terra Luna Classic, what we do want, guys, is we want a 1.2% burn of this volume amount right here. So this is what we want uh, for Terra Luna Classic, a 1.2% burn of that amount right there. That's important for some short term price catalyst for Terra Luna Classic. But I've also said to you guys, why am I not panicking about this? Because I personally, what do I want to see with this cryptocurrency? I want to see it become a long-term good utility cryptocurrency. So up there with Ethereum, up there with Binance Smart Chain, that is the vision I want to see for Terra Luna Classic. And that's why I'm staying long-term on this cryptocurrency. But guys, if we have a look right here, this is the official announcement we got back on the 8th of September. So we've been through this. I'm not going to read it out word for word, but uh, one thing that was important was they did say, spot and margin trading for Luna Classic and USTC, as well as relevant services on Binance Earn will not be affected by this tax burn. So that was the last statement we had, but we do have, uh, you know, people making waves over on Twitter. And I do think, you know, social impact, social uh, media presence in cryptocurrency, super important. So you're going to see crypto exchanges, you know, they, they, they want to pay for sponsorships. They want to pay for good PR. But when you're doing bad PR uh, and people notice, this is not good for Binance and they're starting to notice this 
and uh, have a look at this tweet. So this is coming out from the Lunar Classic DAO, which is uh, super influential over on Twitter. So these guys have like 72,000 followers. I'd rate them probably as the number one Twitter Lunar Classic account right here. And it says here, extremely disappointed in CZ for not keeping his word. Applying the 1.2% tax to withdrawals and deposits only discourages people from leaving Binance. They are not applying the Lunar Classic burn to spot and margin trading, aka what the community asked for. And if we have a look at the response right here, it says, hi, we introduced a 1.2% tax burn for on-chain transactions exactly according to the proposal. We settle most transactions off the chain and makes it very difficult for the tax to be levied. Yet we yet we would closely monitor the effect of the change and might review the decision. So I'll, re I'll repeat that. They may review the decision, but I would say, you know, if you have other crypto exchanges like MEXC, which has less money, it has less resources, and they're doing a 1.2% burn on their crypto exchange, you know, can we call BS on Binance's, uh, you know, technical difficulties on implementing it on their crypto exchange? Because we know, uh, I've seen Binance, Binance, they're always talking about their 0% trading fees and uh, that's great so that's great for some cryptocurrencies but again what do the customers want in this situation guys we want a 1.2 percent burn so you have to listen to what the customers want uh, in this situation and uh, i think it would be very smart for binance to uh, review their decision and uh, update to a 1.2 percent burn so to sum it up what has happened guys i don't think this i don't think the sun has set on the binance question so i'm going to stay patient i'm going to stay positive we're going to see what happens and i do think the right thing for binance to uh, for what Binance can do is they can implement the 1.2% burn. So again, if the customers want it, people want it, the community want it, people on social media want it, the right thing for Binance to do is uh, update the burn. We still got some time. So again, I'm staying patient. I'm staying positive. Uh, the burn doesn't kick in for eight more days, but it is pretty exciting. And again, what would that do? So if we do get a Binance burn on Terra Luna Classic, expect some potential price catalyst. So what would it do, guys? If this volume stays the same on Binance and they implement a 1.2% burn, you guys, that's a lot of Terra Luna Classic getting burned for this cryptocurrency. But that's a really good catalyst, but that is not the foundation of Terra Luna Classic. So again, what do I want to see for Terra Luna Classic? I still want to see it be like a long-term utility crypto project, serious player in the crypto space. That's personally what I want to see. The 1.2% burn on Binance would definitely help as well as a lot of the other crypto exchanges. But that is my point of view about Binance and uh, I'm staying positive, I'm staying patient and I'm not worried. I'm not worried about these uh, slight price decreases either, guys. So there was, look, a bit of a retracement yesterday right here you can see it but again i'm not worried about this no i'm not so guys i'm long term i got my lunar classic bag and uh, again you know will i look to potentially trade some of the short-term volatility possibly i could in the future to make some more profits and add some more lunar classic to my portfolio to keep growing that portfolio, uh, trading some of this volatility right here. So that is definitely a strategy I could do. If you guys wanna get some free bonuses, make sure to check out the exchanges right there. But again, what we're gonna, probably gonna see in the next two weeks, guys, potential catalysts are kicking in. So 1.2% burn, uh, more volume getting burned for different crypto exchanges. And again, you know, potentially Binance could flip, we could get a 1.2% burn of the volume on Binance. And I'm staying positive right now, but guys, if you guys enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button. If you guys wanna jump to the Patreon, ask me some questions about Luna Classic or uh, any other cryptos you have. We do weekly video updates in the Patreon uh, where you guys can ask me some questions. You know, check out my portfolio and uh, we just talk through the crypto market on how to make money in cryptocurrency. But guys, appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.